What is up, summoners? Today we have a follow-up video to my previous Summoner's Greed video where we did a uh, cheat engine exploit for Summoner's Greed in 2021. Obviously, it is now 2023. It has been just a little bit over a year and a half, and you guys are all still wondering the same questions. Does this work on... Uh, uh, sorry, does this work transferring accounts from PC to mobile? Does this work for summoning orbs? Does this work for coins? Does this work for Evo gems? We're gonna answer all that today. I have everything you're gonna need here open on my desktop. I have Summoner's Greed uh, installed on BlueStacks and I have Cheat Engine 6.6. .6. So we're gonna go ahead right into this. I'm gonna do everything in full screen just so you guys aren't confused by anything here. Um, so let's clear up the clutter on my desktop. So we're gonna do everything in full screen including Cheat Engine so you guys shouldn't have any problems here uh, right away. Click in the top left corner on your little icon here for processes. You want to open process list and then you can just go ahead and click down here, process list. And go ahead and scroll up a little bit. Do, 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 till we see right here, this icon, the blue stacks icon, HD player. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. The blue stacks HD player icon, open that. Go to hex value and put in whatever your starting value is for any currency, any currency. If you want to do summoning orbs, start with how many summoning orbs you have. If you want to do coins, start with how many coins you have. If you want to do Evo gems, start with how many Evo gems you have. It's fairly simple, right? So right now we have three coins. Now we have four, so I'm gonna stop the game right there. I'm gonna put in four coins. First scan. There's a million options, we don't care. Go back to the game, get some more coins. Now we're at six coins, go back to Cheat Engine. It's gonna be a lot of this. Put six as the hex value, do next scan. 43 results, let's keep going. All right, so we got eight coins. We got a couple summoning orbs. That's all good. We're going to do summoning orbs later. Go back over here. Do eight coins. Next scan. We have two values. One of these is our coin value. Click the little red arrow. Bring them down below. Double click. It's going to uh, on value. It's going to bring up this little screen. Change value. Change it to something ridiculous. Um, 10 million. Go back to the game, earn one more of the currency that you just changed. And ta-da, 10 million, 10 million coins. Let's repeat the same process, but with gems and summoning orbs. Okay, so we can just go ahead and pause this. We have six orbs. And what we can also do is rename both of these as coins. So now we know that these two are our coins value. Get rid of this, do a new scan for your number of orbs or whatever you're gonna do. We have six orbs. So six, new scan, first scan. 480,000 options. Let's do it again. Kill that guy off. We're gonna earn a couple orbs here for finishing this up. I think it's just one orb. Yeah, one orb, okay. It's all good though, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly go over here, go to seven, go next scan. We have 36 options. We could do every single option. That's a pain. We're not gonna do that. We are gonna quick level up our monsters here just to make this process faster. Crap, 
Cool. This should be number eight, and this should give us enough to change our value. We don't care about you, seller. Ah, perfect. Ten orbs. So that'll definitely be enough. We're going to change this from seven to 18. Next scan. Two values. Repeat the process. 18. Uh, 10 million. Same thing, earn one more orb, or even spend an orb. So let's do that, actually. And there you go, and immediately we can see the change in our value. Good to go. Then we're gonna summon a few of these just so we can unlock the challenges, and then we will do this to do our gems as well. I just want you guys to be able to see every aspect of changing all of this. Uh, I won't be able to earn the red currency, and all of the, the late game currencies to show you. Just understand it works with all of them. Every currency, it's the exact same process. Find your first value, put it in, change the value, find the second value, keep doing that until you only have one or two options, change the core value. Okay, good to go, good to go. Okay, so we have zero currently. We have zero of the gems. So let's just type in zero. New scan, first scan. Okay, 10 million options. That's fine. Collect your first gem. Change this to one. Any value works here, by the way, guys. Any value. There we go, we're down to 13,000 values. Collect the next one. We're up to four. 61 values, collect the final one. And there we go, we have our value for gems. Bring that down below. And change it to whatever you want. Insert value. Go to summoning section. And you have all of these gems that you can do anything you want with. It is just that easy, guys. It's just that easy. All those charms and stuff in this game now. Um, so that's everything. That's that's everything you really need to know. That is as difficult as it's gonna get. Um, any currency that is in the game, you can do it with as long as you can earn multiple. It doesn't matter how far you going from zero to one is. So if I if it took me uh, five hours to go from zero of whatever this currency here is in the top corner to one, as long as I can track the progress with Cheat Engine Open and do first scan, next scan, it doesn't matter. Just don't close the program. That's about everything you need to know. And then in order to upload it back to your main account, you have to delete the game from your mobile. You have to connect to Facebook from here. And then you re-download the game on your phone and reconnect through Facebook. Once you've done that, all of your data will be saved to Facebook. You can transfer your save to and from. Login successful. And then obviously I have this absolutely ridiculous save right here. Uh, where I've already done this. But yeah, this is this is not an issue. It's it's very repeatable. It's very, very easy to do. Um If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below on this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos of this, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so that I know you like to see these weird glitch slash exploit videos on these little mobile games. And I will do more videos like this on the channel.
Stay tuned to the channel as well for more Apex Legends content that I plan to be editing and uploading pretty soon. But peace out for now. Much love, and I hope you guys have an absolutely excellent time modding the hell out of Summoner's Greed and saving yourself some money because they want to charge you crazy money for those gem packs. Don't do it. Be better than them. Peace out for now. Bye.